some of the parts for the Forerunner have finally arrived. We're gonna open up some boxes and take a look what we have. Good morning and welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, we finally got some parts in for the Forerunner and I'm gonna lay them out on the table and take some inventory, take a look, see what we got. Maybe do an install or two today. Okay guys, I have these laid out on the table now. And as you can see, we have a number of boxes. We have um, these two here. We have this bag. Um, I'll open these up too and we'll lay them out so I can explain what we have and exactly why I got it. This one is the mattress that will fit right in the back of the Forerunner, hopefully. We'll see. And then we have um, weather mats in the large box. And then this one right here is the one I'm most excited about. So let's get these out of the box, uh, take a look what we have. All right, guys, so I laid everything out on the table here and let's pan around and see exactly what we have. Uh, a lot of these are interior mods and interior um, items for protection as well, but I do have the door panel inserts here. There are four of them, one for each door, and this will allow a little bit more height uh, on the door panel for storage. So if you put your phone in there, um, it won't flop out like it does right now if you have a bigger phone like I do. This is for the console here. It's just an insert for organization. Uh, it doesn't come with the rubber uh, drop-ins so your items won't fly around when you install those as well. Uh, the mattress, which I showed you earlier, I'm excited about. Not custom made for the Forerunner, but there have been people who have used this particular mattress with success. Uh, I think you just don't inflate the sides here, so the wheel wells in the back won't uh, interfere with the mattress itself. I'm excited to try this one. It is a fraction of the price uh, of the one that is custom made for the Forerunner, so we'll see how that one works out. There was a lot of things I liked about it, or a lot of the specs as far as the thickness um, and then some of the inclusives with the package. So in relation to that, I do have the screens here. These will go on most likely the rear doors. They're a large size. Um, this is the company here. Uh, as I install these, I will put links in the description so you can see exactly what I got and what I paid for it. Um, but these will allow air to come in if you're sleeping out overnight in the Forerunner and also keep those bugs out, especially the mosquitoes, uh, which are very prominent here in Arizona this season, not normally. The protection mats, uh, rubberized, they're custom fit for the Forerunner. These are by Yita Motors. They are not the WeatherTech. I opted out of the WeatherTech. Um, these have excellent reviews. They're supposed to fit very well, have great coverage and a fraction of the price as well. And then the last one, the one I'm most excited about uh, from Dip Your Car, I did get the Hyper Dip. This is a little different than the Plasti Dip. It's a similar concept. Uh, it's made specifically for automobiles. Plasti Dip was made for many different applications, but this one specifically for automobiles. It's got the right sheen that I want, which I'll tell you about when I do the project. I'll record the video. Um, also, it lays down a little bit uh, smoother, and this one does not need a glossifier like the Plasti Dip does. It's a one-step process. It is um, a little bit more expensive, but I think in the long run, this one will be worth it, and I am excited to do that. The wheels currently now on the Forerunner are silver, and uh, I want them black, and I might do the emblems black as well. So guys, this is what I got right now. I do have more parts coming, which I'm excited about. So let's get ready with the installs on these and have some fun with it. Hey guys, I wanted to tell you that uh, yesterday I took my maiden voyage in the Forerunner. It's my first time uh, driving a off-road vehicle, and we did, we went off-road. Uh, here's some of my parts here for one of my cars. I got mufflers, exhaust systems, brakes, and suspension parts and everything. Oh, the fun, the joy. Anyway, we took the Forerunner out, uh, if you live in Arizona, off by Lake Pleasant. And uh, she did really well. Very happy with it. A lot to learn still. And uh, we'll take a look. You can see got a little dusty yesterday, so I guess that's something that we're just going to have to get used to. But... Um, uh, had fun, took some footage, and uh, I'll put a video together of that footage soon. So we took some, uh, some nice photos and have met some beautiful wildlife. <laughs> 